People everywhere are deeply interested in meaning making, in trying to explain their purpose, the purpose of their community, the purpose of our species, and they are very open to a great variety of different ways to find meaning and purpose in their own lives. And on average, people are ingenious in their ability to reconcile and integrate scientific and religious or spiritual explanations. Christine Laguerre is leading a global study which examines how schools transmit culture. She and her collaborators are particularly interested in how formal schooling impacts views about science and religion in a wide variety of cultural contexts. A big part of what we're exploring is schooling as this immensely complex institution of socialization that interacts with other institutions like religion. So understanding complex systems is a big part of what we're tackling in this project. Some of the current work we're doing as part of the Culture of Schooling project, we're documenting how people are using scientific or natural explanations in more mechanistic, kind of proximate ways, and using religious, spiritual explanations, supernatural explanations in more distal ways. We're really interested in the holistic, multifaceted impacts of experiencing schooling on individual and community outcomes and studying this in populations where schooling has been widely available for many generations at this point, populations where it's much more recent, and populations where it's very, very recent indeed. One of the things that occurred to me, having done field work in many, many different diverse regions of the world, is that schools are doing much more than just introducing the ability to read and write, to do numerical computation. They're also influencing people's values, their beliefs, their norms, the way in which they reason, how they think about pressing topics of global concern. There's a lot of tension between the functions that schools were designed to fulfill and the functions that we currently need them to fulfill. In the Culture of Schooling project, Dr. Laguerre is collaborating with 11 other teams to collect data from 19 locations around the world. We selected our collaborators very, very intentionally. First and foremost, they needed to be highly experienced field workers. They need to have long-standing collaborations with communities over the course of many years and have worked with them in very participatory ways. In Ghana, Vivian Jokoto and Adote Anam are researching the impact of schooling on religious and scientific cognition. We are trying to understand the relationship between scientific thought and religious thought, and whether cognitive style has anything to do with this relationship. We're looking at what developmental stage do children acquire scientific and religious thoughts. How are these transmitted from parents to children? How do we relate cognition, children's thinking, to development of scientific and religious thoughts? So you have scientific knowledge coming to the kids from the formal education system. You have religious influences coming from the home. You have all these different threads of knowledge coming together. We need to understand how science and religion and politics and education are interacting in complex ways embedded within particular cultural ecologies. In Mexico, Dr. Linda Abarbanel is studying how education impacts scientific and religious beliefs about health. In my particular context where I work here in Tenajapa, I'm interested in seeing how these shifts in education, shifts in beliefs about science, shifts in beliefs about religion have an impact on the healthcare beliefs and practices that people have. Healthcare is an important domain that cuts across literally all aspects of people's lives and where people routinely combine different types of belief systems, supernatural belief systems, socio-relational beliefs about the causes of illness, as well as biological, more scientifically based belief systems. I'm hoping that this will spark conversations so that communities themselves can think about what type of society do we want to create here and what type of an educational system do we need in order to lead to that end. The scope of this project was considerable and was only possible due to the participation of these really extraordinary experts. 
Social scientists have the tools to do the difficult work of complex systems analysis, and that's where we should be starting, and then decide whether intervention is appropriate in collaboration and, in fact, being led by the communities and the populations themselves.